Welcome to the Mississippi Minute. The Republican primary in the race for governor continues to heat up. In less than two weeks, primary voters will return to the polls to decide which candidate has Mississippi's best interests at heart, conservative Tate Reeves or moderate Bill Waller Jr. In a radio interview this week, Bill Waller Jr. was asked why he received so much support in the Jackson metro area and little anywhere else in the state. Waller had this to say. Well, the uh, we were very blessed to have a positive vote in Hines, Madison, and Rankin, and I think that illustrates that this 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 nucleus of people are informed, and and they're they're read up, and uh, I think being close to the capital and they understand what the issues are. And they understand what effective governance is. While Waller had a hold on a few counties around the Jackson metro area, Reeves won 74 out of 82 counties stretching across Mississippi to every corner of the state. Reeves attributed that strong show of support to his conservative message. That is the strength of having a strong organization. And that is the strength of having um, really, quite frankly, um, literally hundreds, if not thousands of people who believe in the conservative cause that worked their tail off, and I can't thank them enough. In a big week for endorsements, Petal Mayor Hal Marks endorsed Tate Reeves in his race for governor at a press conference in Forest County. Discussing his support for Reeves to lead Mississippi, Marks talked about leaving the governor's race due to his wife's health and Reeves' response revealing his true character. One of the first people to reach out and offer their prayers and support for us during this difficult time, my family, was Tate Reeves. I thought then and still do today that his act of kindness and thoughtfulness said a lot about his character as a man and as a leader. Reeves also received endorsements from State Senators John Polk and Chris McDaniel and State Representative Chris Johnson this week while campaigning at a pair of events in Laurel and Purvis. While Bill Waller Jr. is on the defense for his plan to raise taxes and expand Obamacare, Tate Reeves continues to travel the state and reach out to conservatives as he works to earn every Mississippian's vote. Until next time, live from the campaign trail, I'm Renee Easy with the Mississippi Minute.